Hey everyone, welcome to TechWired. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 652, find duplicate subtrees. First, I will explain the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here we take an example from the LeetCode website. So we need to find the duplicate subtrees and those subtrees should have same structure and the node values. The node values should be same, right? Then when I return the duplicate subtrees, I should return such like. First, I will return the first occurrence of the duplicate structure, the subtrees. Then when I return the second duplicate structure subtree, I need to omit the root node of the subtree. So in this case, I should not return 2. I should start from 3 and the rest. I should avoid 2 and I need to return the subtrees from 3. That's all we have to do in this problem. Now we will see how we are going to do it. So here I have three things. First we are having subtree IDs. So here I will store the subtrees and the unique identifier for that subtree. Then I'm having subtree counts. So here I will store the unique identifier of the subtree and its count here, right? Then I'm having a list where I will store my subtrees and also I will be having another list where I will store duplicate subtrees, right? First we will start, then I will show you guys how this works, right? So first I will traverse through left of my tree. So initially I will start from my root. So I will be having left and right pointers. So I will move to the left of the root node. Now this is my root. I will have the corresponding left and right pointer for this node as well. Then I will move left further. Then this is my root right now. Then I will be having left and right for this as well. So now I am at the leaf node. Now I will have a current variable where I will be having the current root node that is 3 and the left and right subtrees. Here it's none. The left and the right are none, right? So it will be none. This is left, this is right. Both are none for node 3. Right? That is what I am storing in the current variable. So the current variable will be having a tuple of my, this is my root node value, this is my left subtree and this is my right subtree. Right? Then I will check this particular subtree whether it exists in the subtree IDs dictionary whether I have seen this particular subtree previously or not. If I haven't seen, I'm going to get none, right? I will be having none as my current ID. Since my current ID is none, I'm going to take the length of my subtree list as my current ID, that is zero. Since there is no subtrees, my current ID will be zero, right? Then I will append this current subtree in my subtrees. So here it becomes 3, none and none. Right? Then I will store the current subtree and the current ID in my subtree IDs dictionary. Right? I will be storing 3, none and none as key and the current ID this is the unique identifier for this particular subtree structure that is zero. Then I will take the unique identifier that is zero and I will check whether if there is particular subtree has occurred or not. If it is occurred, I will increment by one. If I am seeing it for first time, then it will be one. The count, this is the count. This is the unique identifier. So basically we are keep tracking 
how many times we are seeing that particular duplicate structure. So this is the unique identifier and the count of the unique identifier that is one, right? So when I'm done with the particular node, I will return my current ID, right? I will return my current ID. So my left of my root, this, this becomes my root now. Then the left substructure will be zero. Basically, this is the ID. The ID of the left substructure, subtree of root two is zero. Now I will check the right of two, which is none. Now I will keep this as my current. That is two, zero and none. This is the current root value. Then this is the left value. That is the left unique identifier. And then this is the right. That is none here. Then I will check whether this particular current structure is exist in my subtree IDs. There is no such thing. So I will take the length of my subtrees list as my current ID that is one now. Then I will take this particular subtree structure and I will add that in my subtree IDs dictionary that is two, zero, none and the current ID is one. Then I will take this corresponding unique identifier to my subtree counts. I will check whether is there particular unique identifier one has occurred in my subtree counts or not. There is no such thing, right? So I will add that unique identifier. Then I will initialize with one. I have seen it for the first time. Then I will add this current structure to my subtree list. So here I will be having two, zero and none. Then finally I will return the current ID. So if I return my left of my root one, the left of my root one will be one. So now this is the root. Now I'm moving to the right of my root one. So now this becomes my root. Then I will initialize with L pointer and R pointer, which is my left and right. Then I will move to the left of the particular root. Then this is this becomes my root. Then I will be having left and right pointer for this node. So this becomes my current value, which is nothing but three. That is the root value. Then left and right will be none here. Both are none, right? Then I will check in my sub ids whether this particular subtree has occurred in my previous traversal or not so if i check that particular structure in my sub ids dictionary here we we have seen that once and its corresponding unique identifier is zero so i will take that as my current id right so if I haven't seen that particular ID, I will add that to my dictionary and I will add that to my subtree list. If I have already have seen that particular subtree, I will pick that ID and I will increase that ID's count by one. If I increase by one, it becomes two. Then I will check if that particular sub has occurred twice or not so I will be checking I will be checking using this count dictionary since here it's two it's occurring more than once this is a duplicate structure so I'm going to have another result list I will be storing three there assume here I'm just storing I will be having three there it will be a list like this Right. So after storing that, I will return my current ID, which is nothing but zero here. Now I move back. So this is my root. And after returning the current ID, my left of my root node two will be zero. Then the right is none here. 
so this is my current structure so this is 2 and the left is 0 and the right is none then i need to check whether this particular structure has occurred twice or not yes it has been occurred then i will pick that particular id that is 1 i will check whether 1 is exist in my sub counts yes it has occurred and i will increase by 1 now again i will check whether that particular sub tree has occurred twice or not using the sub counts dictionary this is the unique identifier if that particular keys value is 2 then there is a duplicate if it is 2 then i will return the root so here i am going to having 2 and 3 from root i will be having finally i will return this that's all the problem guys now let's see the code before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so before we write the function we will be having the variables here i am having the subtrees list then the dictionary of the subtree ids right then i am going to have the dictionary for the count then i am going to have duplicates list where i will be storing the final result so I'm going to write a function traverse. Then finally, I'm going to return the duplicates list, right? So now I will write the traverse function. So I'm going to have node. Then I'm going to check if the node is none. Then I'm going to return now then i will traverse left side first then the right right then i will having the current structure this is my current structure i will be having it in a tuple its value on the left and the right subtrees. Then I'm going to check in my dictionary whether that particular ID exists or not. This is my sub ID variable where I will be checking the sub ID's dictionary whether that particular subtree has occurred or not. If it has occurred, it's going to return the unique identifier value if we haven't seen that it's going to return none right so then i will check if my sub id is none then i'm going to take sub id as length of the subtree since we haven't seen that structure we will append that subtree in our subtrees list right then i will initialize the current subtree that is the current subtree and its unique identifier subtree id in my sub id's dictionary right then i'm going to increase this sub id's count in my sub count dictionary this is my sub id and i will increase it by 1 then I will check if the sub count of that particular sub ID is equal to 2. If it is repeated, then I'm going to append that particular node into my duplicates list. And when I'm done with that particular node, I will return its sub id right 
I think it's fine. Let's run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. So the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is order of n as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.